now it's time for this. <laughs> oh, in me, oh, in you. That's <laughs> <laughs> horrible. <laughs> yes, it's, oh, I forgot dear. about this. Oh, in me, oh, in you, where my knowledge of my <laughs> lovely partner, Vicky McClure, uh, is going to be put to the test. Uh, over to you, Mark. Right. Well, you are now leaving, uh, Ms. McClure, the, this very room to head off to, a, okay. to an English garden or the toilet so you can't hear what's going <laughs> no, on. He's cancelling headphones. The English garden. I think you would. It's probably very wise. Uh, so we, we don't want to hear any cheering from the kitchen <laughs> at this particular point. Thank you very much, Vicky. If you just could just make your way. And there she wow. is. God, she's gone. Now, I'm going to ask yeah. uh, Johnny Owen over there three particular questions, and we're going to try and work okay. out from that whether you know your missus as okay. well as you probably think you do okay question number one if vicky could have dinner with any person past or present would it be a bob marley b karen carpenter or c julie waters bob marley bob marley is right and, and that was unequivocal you, yeah. uh, you, you loves loves the music yes this, this we know question two if aliens came down and <laughs> took you away yeah. and replaced you with a clone yeah too late everyone what would be the first thing that alerted vicky to the fact she was living with a clone and not you a not on his phone b not putting football on the telly c not putting the tea towel on the radiator oh c not putting the tea towel i know on you're the radiator. a little bit fussy about some of the housekeeping yeah, yeah. that you don't do tea t- i put the tea towel on, on the radiator all the time and she, she gets annoyed by it because go. she has to walk across the room and to water, go and get water drips everywhere. So tea towel. I, on, I, on can, the I can see that problem. <laughs> I, I'm with her. <laughs> if Vicky was off to film on a remote island for six months and she could take only one thing, what would it be? Would it be a phone, mm. a dressing gown, or a hot water bottle? A hot water bottle. She, a fan of that, yeah? Okay. Yeah, massive, yeah. Good to know. I mean, let's hope it's not really a tropical island then because that's one of the most wasted hot water bottles of all time. But... We can now invite Vicky McClure back into the room. Okay. Would you please send Miss McClure back into the room? She's here. And she has returned. Okay. I would like to say on radio, I'm back, yeah. which is very charity <laughs> shop too. <laughs> <laughs> he, he seemed not to struggle. Oh, good. Okay. So now okay. we're going to run this up your flagpole. Yeah. yeah. And see how it goes. You've got three people you can have dinner with, past or present, Vic. Bob Marley, Karen Carpenter, or Julie Walters? Bob Marley, all day long. He is one out of one thus far. I think this is a really tough one here. If aliens came down, replaced Johnny with a clone, took him away presumably somewhere, I don't know where. Let's have a think about that. But the clone replaced him, and he's in the front room with you. How would you know it wasn't him anymore? Would he be not on his phone? Would there be no football on the telly? Or would he not? Would he be putting the tea towel on the radiator? Tea towel on the radiator. Towel, I have massive to... issues with this. And yeah, just yeah. by me putting it out <laughs> yeah. like this yeah. is in hope that it will stop. We did. We did a, a press conference once when we sponsored <laughs> Merthyr's Shorts, and it was like loads of like BBC and ITV people there, and we had this debate in front of them all. Do you remember? Yeah. And I had loads of texts from going. We put the tea towel on the radiator as well. We didn't like to say in front of Vicky because she looked scary talking about yeah. it. This would split the audience. Her eyes glazed over. This would split the audience because yeah. it stays damp then. I'm going to get a radiator and put it in the kitchen. That that way he can do what he wants. I don't know how wet your tea towels get It's though. in the hallway, Mark. I'm like washing my hands at the sink and then I've got to walk all the way to the hallway because he wants a dry tea towel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not know it wasn't in the same room. I assume, exactly, I assume the same you. room. Exactly. Have you thought about putting oh, a hot ring on the stove and just sticking it yeah, that the work, other, I mean, the other room is, is three steps away. This is not like the other side of the house. Julie's no, I know, we don't. It's not like I mean, that, You've got to but... leave the room for a tea towel. Oh, all right, all right, go on. Sick human being you are. But it keeps it warm. Anyway, go on. <laughs> I know there's nothing like a warm tea towel, is there? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. Question uh... three, everyone. If Vicky was off to film in a remote island for six months and she could take only one thing... <laughs> What would it be? It would either your options are phone, mm-hmm. dressing gown, or hot water bottle. <laughs> Hotty all day really? long. Really? Oh, Johnny, three three. it drives him mad. I am like hot water bottle obsessed. Well done, Johnny. Seriously, I mean, I call it the Nana water bottle. Yeah. And sometimes you read things way often and they go like, you know, uh, super sexy Vicky McClure, screen goddess, and then this thing comes in with, with, with a hot water bottle like yeah. a nan, and I go, what is that? Oh. Literally sticking up the back of her like tracksuit Trousers, bottoms. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for the small yeah. of the back. And I go, it's not even that cold. I just I've got like variations it. of them, Mark. I've got one that's 
really long and it's got like a cotton tag at the end of it so you can actually like tie way. it round your waist or no. over your shoulder. Oh, you yeah. love it. I do. I, On I set, that's my only thing she's I'm like, She says after. to me, leave it, duck. I love it. I'm like, I right. love it. It's so difficult to pour. Like, but you burn your hand. Yeah, be careful, guys. Because when, you ke- when the, the, ke- the kettle into the hot water bowl is quite a difficult manoeuvre, I find. Well, I've done it as many long many as I have, Mark. Well, no, you saw the <laughs> skill set. To the, to you, the, just, um... you, you get a wet tea towel, damp tea towel, wrap it round your hand, don't you?